Let's talk about copper test settings on the Wire Expert 4500. So, test settings are where you're going to choose the type of testing you're going to do and also enter any important cable label or cable information into the tester. Now, it's important to choose this up front because a lot of this information cannot be changed later on. So, from the setup screen, once again, I'm just going to click on the test setup or test settings. And the first thing I need to choose is the test limit. Now, most people are going to be doing either permanent link, channel, or MPTL testing. Um, basically, I'm going to click on the test limit up here. And then I'm going to choose TIA, where in North America, this is going to be the majority of the testing. And then you can see all the selections here. Again, for each category, you have channel, MPTL, and permanent link. And grab one of those. I'm going to go ahead and grab CAT6 permanent link. That's the testing that I plan on doing. And it kicks me back out to the test settings page. So I've chosen the limit, but I also need to choose the cable that I'm using. It's important to choose the appropriate cable because the appropriate cable or the correct cable will have the correct NVP or nominal velocity of propagation. That will make sure that the tester is giving accurate length feedback. In other words, if you're testing 100 foot of cable, the tester will say 100 feet and not 120 feet or 80 feet. Um, so make sure you have that right. There is not an option to change that after the test is completed. So once again, make sure you get this correct. We're going to go in with a specific cable manufacturer here. So we're going to change this from a generic CAT6 UTP to a specific manufacturer. So we're going to grab Belden. And Belden makes a lot of different cables. But we're going to grab one of their cables. You can see some of the choices here. Go back up to the top of the menu. And we're going to grab this 10GX24. We're also going to choose a connector. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to grab a Belden connector, Gigaflex PS6 Plus. Once those are selected, you are now set for cable and connector. We've also chosen the correct test limit, so we're good there. The only other section here is advanced test, test options. Let's take a look at that. There are some important features in here that you do need to have set up properly. Make sure you have this locator on. This allows the tester to give TDR functionality. Um, so it basically can tell you where you have a problem, where there's a next issue in the cable, down to the pair and down to the, to the foot of, of cable um, that's, that's causing you problems. So this is a very good feature. It's something you do want to have on. In North America, most of our pairing is going to be uh, 568B. Auto test on connection, we suggest that you have that off uh, for most testing applications. Direct attach, you want that on, that gives you the ability to do this MPTL testing um, that's been newly ratified through TIA. And AC wire map, you want to have off more than likely, unless you're testing PoE through MidSpan. Once you've made all those selections, go ahead and hit the check button, and that kicks you back out to the test settings page, and then back out and now you're ready to do some tests.